Look at the grill. That Zerate Fang grill on the Riker 600 2019. Throw mouse mode. So, um, this was just a quick little ride. I want to put that in the beginning because, you know, it's going to be a drag. Just a quick install video. It just kind of shows the process we went through to um, go through installing that Zerate Fang grill. Uh, we just came back from getting a haircut over at Birds in Austin. Uh, so that was actually a pretty cool ride because the, the weather was real nice and we're not really getting that right now. So it was kind of cool to relive this little ride we took um, around town after getting the haircut. This, after this is like the same week I got the Baja Blast tattoo. So I finally got that little side hair window cut off and got a proper fade to to match everything. But I had uh, Brian with me on his Honda Shadow and Kevin with me on his uh, 2019 Riker 900 and then me of course on my 2019 Riker 600. So we're going to be installing that uh, Zerate Fang grill on my Riker 600 but uh, I don't believe that it's a different process on any of the other Rikers. So uh, we just picked it up actually in San Antonio probably like a week before this. That's a little pamphlet so it tells you the tools uh, that you need for insulation and uh, what everything it includes which is like hardware like nuts and washers and some bolts it's like four bolts i show that to you but it's not just that it actually has some step-by-step -step stuff with pictures so um Zerate definitely does not leave you hanging on install and it's actually really easy that's why the actual install um process that i show on here the little bits that i do it's only like seven minutes so that just kind of shows the the main thing you need and that's the exact same size drill bit that it mentions uh, and I got for those four bolts and that's the grill just kind of on its own it just has those four tabs that stick out you have to drill into that front fascia just into the plastic and drop those bolts in and it's got little nuts that that lock it down on the opposite side that's pretty much it and as you can see just then it's that black flat black powder coated so Definitely got a good coat on there. It's not just spray paint or anything like that. And you can get it in a few different finishes. Um, I just chose to buy the the black, the flat black one because it just kind of matches the Riker. And I kind of want it like low key. I like the way it looks. I didn't want it like super bright. I know like their number one seller is like the white one. Uh, and that one is still pretty cool. But I was like, man, I got enough going on. I want it, uh, but I kind of want it like low key looking. So that's why I chose the black. You can see my blue grill there. Um, that's what makes this kind of interesting. And like I always say before, they're not always how-to video. That's me taking the little, or Kevin taking off the little skid plate, that um, spoiler that installs on the front. Um, that, that took drilling too, those two holes on the side of the front fascia that you saw him taking that bolt out. I had to do that um, myself to get that on. But those are pretty easy. That's actually a Can-Am OEM type deal too. Uh, we had to take that off, uh, and what I was getting at is making it kind of unique to us is that I just wanted to keep that grill, that blue grill on. Um, if you did not have one or you just cut yours off and the zip tied it back on, it would be even faster and easier than us. Uh, it wasn't bad keeping it on. We just had to drill at a weird angle and stuff, and, and on the bottom, we actually just drilled all the way through the bottom uh, just so I didn't have to take that grill off and then we can just slide the bolts in the very bottom but you don't have to do that follow their instructions that's why they give them to you I'm just showing you the quick process uh, that we took just to slap that thing on and uh, Kevin there marking the holes like I said four holes you saw it when I was showing you just like these four tabs that bend around and I just showed you a little magic marker spots he put uh, you can see that tape at the top was just tape at the top and the bottom was just to keep it held in the right place so we can um, we can mark it like that and know where to go. So that was just like a quick pilot hole. So that's why it's that little tiny drill bit. And then we slapped that uh, that full size one that's um, to spec per the instructions to drill the holes for the bolt. So just wanted to mark it real quick and then find a way to get the the big bit in there like that without going through the grill and messing with it. I just had like these little tiny black um, zip ties and we didn't have any then and I just did such a perfect job in my opinion of getting that black grill on there because it's got these really fine little holes and that's what I like about it. 
uh, compared to some of the other ones I've seen or like, you know, doing the Home Depot or Lowe's job or whatever like Kevin has. It's just that you can see the bugs, like even with that small one, the bugs really get in there and little things get in there. So I definitely didn't want to get a bigger one and I did a clean job with the small zip ties. So that's just me. You don't have to do that. It's better not to. And then we just slap the bolts in through the holes that we drilled. It's all really easy. Like I said, the instructions actually come with it and step by step. And that's just the bolts there. And we do the same thing on the bottom or the, the nuts that go through the bolts. And then just put in that little front skid plate, the possum pusher uh, back on. It's just those same two um, bolts that are on the side. And then the rest of it, uh, the bolts that hold that front fascia that I'm popping back on, they go through the plate, that skid plate, that front skid plate, and the, the fascia to lock it on. So that's the other place that it's secured. But really, it's just being held on even right there by the two bolts on the side. And then popping the two bolts down at the bottom, just like you always have to do when you take that front off and do most things to the Riker. And that's it. You know, it's not as easy as just, you know, putting it on and snapping it on or whatever. But, I mean, if you're used to doing stuff on the Riker, you got to take the front off for most things anyways. Um, but that's it. I just wanted to get that one out of the way. Really, a lot of people ask about it. And I don't see a lot of stuff on it online. That just shows you something real quick and shows what you have to do. Some people don't know you have to take the front off. Some people don't know you got to drill holes. I mean, I didn't before I bought it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of cool just to have a heads up before you buy it. Um, you get it from Zerate. I'll probably put the, the link or description or whatever uh, in the video description to so you can, you can check it out and see if you like something like that. They're actually pretty cheap, too. It's not bad and it changes the whole look. I've done all kinds of really cool expensive stuff to my Riker. One of the main things people notice are the fangs. It's just, and, and it's one of the hotter, um, the hot, hotter items that we discovered when we make our little video, but um, got more videos to come. Throw Mouse Moto. Yeah, it's ours. I was like, I was really? like why do I see scenery in her phone that's moving <laughs> with the actual scenery? Is she filming? <laughs> She's on FaceTime. Because, you know, nobody can have a phone conversation anymore. This is someone that uses Discord on the regular. Me? Yes, I, all the time. <laughs> he can only not use the phone. He has to broadcast what he's doing over the interweb. Because I, then I have to hold up the phone like this. That ain't going anywhere. Oh, yeah. I was still on FaceTime and I'm just talking to the... They're just talking to the ceiling because I got it sitting down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do from now on. Like yeah. This one girl, she always does. Just throw it on the table and just do what you were doing. <laughs> so, for your Zoom chat, were you wearing pants? 